Today on Paul's tool review, I'll be reviewing the Irwin 8-in-1 ratcheting screwdriver, part number 194774. So this is Irwin's 8-in-1 ratcheting screwdriver. It has a Phillips head, a slotted a hex, a square, a torque spit, and three sizes of nut drivers. Uh, all that stores inside either, actually all in store, stores inside these, this tube here, and I'll show you how they do that and what it looks like. It does have a nice soft, round, completely round comfort grip, which is good and bad. It's very comfortable in the hand. It has good grip, but it's round, and it likes to roll away. So if that's a problem, you want to take note of that. So we'll take it apart real quick, but before I do that, let me just show you how the ratcheting works. So right, it, it ratches. It has forward, neutral, reverse, so it's obviously in forward. There's neutral where it's locked. I can put it in reverse so we can loosen. There's loosening locked and forward for tightening so it works very well however you like to do with it it gives you the style and the option to go with the ratchet or not ratchet one thing i don't like about this tool is the craftsmanship could be a little bit better it's it, and the handle's good it feels solid here but where it connects right here a little bit not the best tolerances here, if you can see right here. Could be tighter in my opinion. I would love to take this apart and tighten it up if possible. Um, I guess I'm just being very uh, picky on it, but when you pick it up, you really don't kind of want it to shake. It's, it's pretty heavy, but it does give you good grip and, and feel good torque. So let's take this apart and count all the bits, take a look at them and see how they get them all. So the first one end here, right, is our P1. PH1, as you can see, so that's your Phillips one. So that's one of the, one of the eight. And over here is your one quarter inch nut driver. So you take that around, pull it apart, and now we start getting to the double sides, double sided bits on this side. So this is still one quarter uh, inch, but it has a T25 bit on the end here. You can take it apart. It has a reversible square two head which i've never used but if you need one it does have one built in of course you can replace these with other double headed bits of your choosing i usually just leave it on the torx because that's what i use the most of the t25 and t20 very common for me so i have those ready on my phillips head on this end you have another nut i believe this is three eighths so the three eighths uh, driver right here and we can pull this apart so it comes out and you get this size here which oh, so this size excuse me is 5 16 and this is 3 8 right on this side so again if you have 3 8 side it does have a bit in there I guess I didn't have it in too loose so it has an 810 slotted side on this side and then on this side you have a, a Phillips head too I'm going to tend to use Phillips head a lot more. This is not a nut driver head. It's just, it's keyed to fit the wings on this thing. And it has a, a detent here. So you just have to line it up and push it back together. And push it back together again. Still wobbles a little more than I, than I prefer, than I like. But overall works really well. I used this already to take apart a dashboard in one of my cars. Uh, if anybody's had an Infinity air filter, you know how much fun it is to reach some of those far back screws. Yeah, it stayed in place this time, so it's... Like I said, the only weakness I think of this is that this, this could be just a little bit tighter in here. It's just a little too much play, but not enough for a distraction or anything. And those that do hate round handles, uh, this will tend to roll away. Uh, not a big problem for working on 
a car and it's laying on the carpet. Uh, but if it's underneath the car, it could be fun to chase this thing. Typically, these retail for around $12 to $16. And typically, you can find these on Amazon and Lowe's. I'll put the links in the description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more.